How's it going everybody? Welcome to Prime Energon and today we're going to be taking a look at Gnaw from Transformers the Movie Studio Series 86. This is a fantastic little guy. This is part of the Transformers the Movie line and uh, yeah here is Gnaw. So very very cute looking character, very chunky. Definitely do like these guys in the movie. First and foremost let's go ahead and take a look at the box. And here it is, Studio Series 86, Transformers the Movie. Get some nice artwork on the side. And then you get some artwork on the back. Now is the Shark Cons. And uh, yeah, very, very cool. Gives you some obligatory content on the rear of him in robot mode and in, in shark mode. And Studio Series 86, Deluxe Class. You get some stuff at the bottom. At the top, you get Transformers the movie. Very, very cool. So let's take a look at this guy up close. And uh, let's take a look at some close-ups. There's his chest. And here is his head sculpt. So very, very nice looking head sculpt. A lot of detail on this guy. Very, very chunky guy. I do like uh, all of the articulation here and the teeth. Very, very cool. Take a look at his chest area. Some nice little green right there. Uh, very nice sculpt work on the legs. This purple, I do like the uh, light lavender on here. Looks really good. Chunky little boots on the feet. Not too much uh, hollow stuff, it looks really good. Very solid character, very solid. Taking a look at the arms. Very nice sculpt work right here. The hands. Let's go and take his uh, weapons out. Very, very nice. I think they did a pretty good job with this guy. Taking a look at the back kibble here. So not too much with the uh, backpack. I think it cleans up quite nicely. And then you got his head up here that uh, is sort of sitting towards the back. Very, very nice detail on this guy. Very small, but still love these guys in the movie. Very, very cool. So weapons first, let's go on over what he comes with. So as far as weapons go, he does have his tail that comes off and he could also wield this just like so. It is articulated so it does have like a little hinge right here that we go forward and back but this is his tail. It also comes with a little blaster right here pretty much just a gray plastic blaster with a little bit of a purplish tint to it. Very simplistic but very very cool and then you could also peg this on to uh, Sharktacon mode when he is transformed. But still very, very cool. You do get a nice little blaster. So as far as articulation goes with this guy, his head can do a full 360 all the way around. He can look up, can look all the way down due to transformation mode. And a little bit of wiggly, not too much of the wiggleness right there. And as far as arms go, his arms can go all the way out. They can go all the way around which is pretty cool. He gets a 90 at the bicep. Definitely perfect beyond 90 right there. You get also a swivel at the bicep. No wrist rotation, but they do go in through due to transformation and no waist rotation either. As far as legs go, they can kick all the way forward and about that far back. And he is double jointed. He can't do his knees forward if you want to break his knees. And uh, normally, 90 degree bend. And he also has this right here, which is again due to transformation. But you could use that as you will. You do get some ankle tiltage, a lot of ankle tiltage. No toes, a little bit. Well, I guess that'll be considered the uh, feet for uh, forward and back. And then you also get this little piece right here which is pretty much gonna fold in and again with stabilization for in robot mode. So very, very cool looking character articulation. Actually pretty good for a stubby little guy. I think it uh, works out pretty well. You also get the eye rotation. So that's also nice. So you could pose this guy a bunch of different ways and everything works out just fine. So as far as transformation goes, pretty simple on this guy. You're pretty much going to uh, push this wrist in just like so all of this back piece is going to come apart just like that 
And then uh, you're going to want to get his arms to the back. Just swing him out of the way. And then you're going to do a full 360 right here. All of this is going to turn around just like so. You're going to want to come over here to the back and open this back piece up. You can see everything will sort of just come up just like that. You want to fold in his heels. And then all of his feet are just going to come in, bend right there at the ankles, and then bend at the knee, and then just rotate. You're going to get uh, these pegs right here, which are going to peg into the front part of the toe. And then all these are going to peg down together. And just like that, this piece is going to stay right here and come down. And then now all of this is going to collapse in on itself. Boom, boom. And then you're gonna get some tabs over here. And then these little slots right here, there's some tabs up in the shield area, which are gonna go into. And then all of this just snaps together. Pretty simple, pretty simple transformation. I do like that. As far as his head goes, you're gonna wanna make sure it's all the way down and just close open, close his mouth right there. And then bring his arms down, just like so. Bring the legs forward, bend them at the knee. Bend them at the knee, and then you're gonna grab his weapon, which is his tail, stick that in his butt, just like so. And then you got his tail, and then the fin can be removed. Do robot mode, or you could put it on, or I just pretty much keep it on, and then you put that on the back right there. So very, very cool. Checking out the detail on this guy. Love this, love this. The head looks a little weird. I like how they tried to make it look like the tongue, but uh, it just looked like he has a head in there, but I like how they tried to camouflage it. So I think it works out pretty well. As far as the articulation goes, the hands can move all the way around. You get a little joint right here at the bicep for his little claws. Taking a look at his little hands, very nicely sculpted. Taking a look at the green eyes again, looks really, really good in shark to con mode and then his legs again look really good they are a bit loose so when you're trying to pose this guy he will tend to fall forward a little bit so that just might be my copy you can i'm pretty sure uh tighten those joints up but for the most part he stays up pretty well on his own and he looks fantastic as far as weapon storage goes you can clip the gun there's a tiny little port right here that's going to accept the blaster on side right there and you can have his blaster right here on the side but look at the detail you can see the legs and the feet on the side but they did a good job of blending it in there to where you don't notice it as much it all looks very mechanical it looks really good I love the spinal rock around here the spikes on the back and this shiny plastic right here Looks really good. Taking a look at the underside. You can't see his head. Look, there's his head popping up at the bottom. And his belly. But overall, cleans up pretty nicely. Mouth can open all the way. And he can chomp, 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 chomp. Here is Nonk compared to, uh, as far as side comparisons to Cup in Shark to Con mode. So it works out really well. And then here is Hot Rod, which are two of the people that they do work with and uh, of course cup tries to talk to them and they all end up working together so here it is compared to all of them nice little combo or a threesome right here of all of them together from the studio series 86 so yeah very very cool character looks fantastic i definitely like the shark decons and uh they're really cool in the movie they become good allies with the autobots and help take down unicron so yeah very very cool Nah from Transformers Studio Series 86 The Movie. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That is quite all right. We are just beginning here on Prime Energon. Be sure you subscribe if you're not. If you are, thank you guys for coming back. I will see you next time. Peace.